the Nissan Sentra is the number one selling import in its class. What does number one selling mean? It means over a million have been sold. Over a million, huh? Yes. I can see why. And because we're number one, your Nissan dealer has factory-to-dealer cash that could save you hundreds. Come and get it. The barbecue's on at McDonald's. It's McRib time. There's grilled pork swimming in that sassy sauce. A little pickle, a little onion. Lick your fingers, smack your lips. You're biting McRib. It's home. It's like a barbecue in a bun without the bones. But they're going fast, y'all. So come on and get it. The good time, great taste of McDonald's. McRib. It's home. The latest on Hurricane Hugo tonight on the night beat. Nice and fresh. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Try Fresh Step, the only litter that releases tiny odor controllers every time your cat scratches her steps. Fresh Step. Freshens with every step. Them lemons, they roll. Them lemons, they bounce. I even see the lemon drop. Them lemons, smell so fresh and pretty like lemon fresh Clorox. Them lemons, smell so fresh and pretty like lemon fresh Clorox. Bye. I'm sorry. I know you feel your previous attorney ignored you, but I promise to include you in every decision. You want to get that or should I? <laughs> We're between uh, housekeepers. In fact, that's probably someone answering the ad right now. Is Gene home? He <laughs> just reminded he's going to be bowling against Becky and Green in the school tournament. And give him my condolence. Right, bye. Rob! Hey! Hey, Dad. What's up? Rob, I was trying to talk to a client in my office. Oh, well, go ahead. I could barely hear you guys in there. Yeah, that was our problem, too. Daddy, do you have any idea what your son of pig did at school today? Freeze. Please. He told Jerry Kendall I used to be a Siamese twin. <laughs> Rob. I said it was just a rumor. Rumor? Two girls in gym asked to see my scar. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Hey, Dad. Hey, big time. How was school? Great. You ready to go? Uh, go? Come on, Dad. Don't kid around. You're teaching me boring tonight. Mr. Harper, did I come back when you're not busy? No, no. That's fine. I'll be right there. Hey, Jean. I have to draft a will tonight. It's real important. But I promise... Sunday. Deal? Sure. I got lots of homework anyway. Daddy, go ahead and do your well. I've already started dinner. Thanks. Rob, you'll spoil your appetite. That's the point. <laughs> you, uh, you want to talk about it? It makes you think I got anything to talk about. I got lots of homework. Please, it's me, remember? <laughs> Dad's never going to have time to teach me bowling. Well, like you said, Sunday. Great. The class tournament's Saturday. They got us matched up one-on-one. -on -one. 
I got Becky and Breen. So? So I'm going to get beat by a girl. <laughs> Ooh. She already calls me chicken arms. Gee, chickens don't have arms. Then you see my problem. <laughs> Look, the other guys in your class can't be that much bigger than you. Want to bet? I think the whole fourth grade's on steroids. <laughs> Look, Jean, you're worried about nothing here, really. Chris, nobody takes my problem seriously. Nobody even listens to me. Whoa, whoa, hey, I'm listening. Bob, telephone. I'm talking to Jean. See, nothing comes between brothers. Morning. Keep those chicken arms straight, you'll kick butt. <laughs> I just wish somebody in the stupid house had time for me. Just for me. Brother Rob, he's always wishing for pretty women. <laughs> it was you, all right. You must have wished for me right when my number came up. What number? Oh, every hundred years or so, we got put in a little public service time. And when I find you dreamed up that rule, I'll turn him into a croissant. Kidding, kidding. <laughs> you look like you never saw a witch before. There's no such thing as witches. Oh, great. So I got to prove it. Lovely. Uh, okay. Here goes. See this lamp? I'll turn it on. <laughs> it's just an old witch's joke. Okay. This time, no lamp. Or like cleaning up this pig side. You are a witch. It's true. I wish for you and you came. And you're gonna teach me bowling. You bet I am, my little whoa. Bowling? As in bowling? <laughs> My dad, you're a witch. He'd never let me keep you. No sweat. I'm not allowed to tell grown ups the truth about me. Uh, Dad. <laughs> this is, um, fur. <laughs> Winnie Goodwin. Winnie Goodwin. <gasps> oh, you came about the ad, right? Okay, sure. That's it. Uh, you were here on the soy lettering. Come on, give her a chance. She'll be a great housekeeper, Dad. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> a great one. May I see your references? You bet. Jean has them. <laughs> well, these seem to be excellent references, but they're all out of state. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> Pardon me? Uh, Dad, check it out. She already cleaned up my whole room. Well, hey, the last woman we had in here was a real space cadet. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we could give it a try for a couple of days. All right, why don't I show you the guest room and explain the job? Great. I'll be right there. Oh, wow! Right. Put the brakes on here, Junior. <laughs> I do this bowling deal, and I'm in the wind. I am not a housekeeper. Wait, what are you talking about? Look at this place. It's perfect. I usually just jam all my junk in my... Hold that thought. Oh, 
Oh, uh, sorry for the mess. We're not quite settled yet. Making some room for your things. Oh, is this you? Yeah, about a hundred years ago. Yeah, I have some like that, too. Pardon me? To TJ, love always Annie. Your wife? Uh, always isn't what it used to be. So, you can call you TJ. Thomas. We'll be fine. So, what can I tell you about the kids? Kids? There's more than Gene. Well, Rob's 16. He's, uh, out. <laughs> Jesse, she's my 13-year-old. She's kind of that bad. Awkward age. Hey, so are you. Me too. We all are. I'm an attorney. I run my practice out of the house here. So, what I'm looking for is someone to kind of cook, clean, and keep up with the kids. Sounds exciting. Oh, it is. Uh, this is tomorrow's schedule. Updates will be posted on the refrigerator. <laughs> You're kidding. No. Didn't think so. Hey, linens are in the closet down the hall. And I'll see you tomorrow morning, about 7.30. Oh, well, I'm not much of a morning person. <laughs> see you then, boss. <laughs> Give the woman a chance. <laughs> oh. Nice, Jean. Stephen King's housekeeper. <laughs> Just watch. We eat mess next, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably just some stupid trick. Look, I'm getting dead right now. <laughs> What's this? Probably just some stupid trick. I don't know if you're a witch, but I like your style. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I believe, all right? And you won't tell Dad? No. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's say you really are a witch. In fact, let's all say it, because clearly you are. <laughs> Maybe you could mag magic Dad into letting me see the Pondscum concert tonight. You want to go see the concert? Go see the concert. It's a free country. It is still a free country, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Forget it, Rob. It's been sold out for weeks. Not necessarily. <laughs> oh, front row. <laughs> you and Jesse have a great time. All, All right. right. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Me and Jesse? That's the deal. And if I say no, then wherever you go, you'll always have a place to sit down. <laughs> Good point. Oh, oh, that's my box. I gotta go. Winnie, we're going to practice bowling tonight, right? If we must, scoot. Well, I see you've all met Winnie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dad, listen, excellent news. Winnie managed to get two tickets to a sold-out concert tonight. This wouldn't happen to be for those pond scum people, would it? <laughs> oh, yeah, look, I know they've gotten a lot of bad press recently, but you got to admit, that Ted Koppel is a negative, negative dude. <laughs> Rob, the last time they were in town, 200 people were injured. And that was in their hotel room. I have an idea. If you're so concerned, why don't you just go to the concert with them? Well, even if I agreed, Rob, I believe you said the concert is sold out. So the whole question is moot? Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> By George, 
George, I think you've got it. No, you're just doing this with your magic. I am not. Like I've been saying, it's all in the wrist. Roll. If my dad catches us doing this, we're dead. Let me handle TJ. You called him TJ? Nobody ever calls him that except my... You shouldn't call him that. Look, I thought you wanted me to roll the stupid ball. be an uh oh for me it's a very simple uh oh <laughs> how can little caesars afford to give you two great pizzas for one low price low overhead very low overhead Pizza, pizza. Always at Little Caesars. Count on the team from MetLife to keep in step with customer needs. Get Met. It pays. If you like nuts, you'll love Cluster Cereal. Only Cluster has delectable little nut clusters no nut lover can resist. Almonds, pecans, walnuts, and honey brushed into little nut clusters and mixed with crispy flakes. So if you like nuts, you'll love Cluster's cereal. Dad, I never catch anything. Here, have a lifesaver. Can we do this again tomorrow? Lifesaver's candy. Isn't life delicious? Never. I thought I said no eating cookies in bed. It's not a cookie, Mother. It's a fruit Newton. Oh, carry on then, carry on. A cookie is just a cookie, but Newton's a fruit and cake. Hello, I'm Keith Jackson. Coming up Saturday here on ABC Sports, a college football doubleheader that is really Big Ten back then. It starts at 3.30 Eastern Time, the Ohio State Buckeyes and USC Trojans. Then at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, the Michigan Wolverines and the UCLA Bruins. So, college football, Big Ten, Pac-10, Saturday, doubleheader here on ABC. Uh, what are you guys doing home? Oh, we just got tired of sitting around in a police car. Those tickets that you came up with were counterfeit. <laughs> What the hell happened here? Minnie was teaching me how to bull. In the house? Oh, I suppose I should be grateful it wasn't bullfighting. Miss <laughs> Goodwin, in my office now. Uh, just a tip. This may not be the time for the chicken trick. <laughs> Please don't get mad at Gene. This wasn't his fault. Of course it wasn't his fault. He's a child. It was your fault. Counterfeit tickets. Who knew? The police knew. They also know that I am a new lawyer in town trying to make a favorable impression. Of course, that's down the drain. Unless, of course, they liked what I did when they said spread them. <laughs> Miss Goodwin, I have a career and a family to run. A, a family to run? You run nylons or... Greyhounds, you don't run your family. I have a responsibility to make sure these kids are taken care of. And you don't seem to be filling that need. 
And you are? Of course you I am. Why, why, Ron just tells you he's out. Maybe he'd love to tell you where, but you're not there to hear it. You don't know what How you're about Jessie? She's so busy trying to be the mommy of this family. She's missing out on all the fun of being Jesse. It just happens she to be misses his mom so bad he can't even talk about it. But you know what? He misses his dad even more. Miss Goodwin, we very clearly have a wide difference in perception here. And I'm convinced this just isn't going to work out. No, no, it isn't. Look, I've already got three kids. I don't need a fourth. Oh, but you do. Because this family's one kid short. The kid and you. Come on, son. Knock them all down. Yeah, dude. This time, let go of the ball. <laughs> Your turn, chicken arm. <laughs> they only put the pins in my gutter. Come on, Jean. It's all in the wrist. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I thought you were gone. You also thought I read your schedule. No, it's as easy as knocking over a hutch. you had a ball. I did. You won the trophy. And now you gotta go. Yeah. Now I gotta go. What's gonna happen the next time I've got a problem? You'll solve it. Jane, I could have cheated and used my magic to make you win. But that would have cheated you. Understand? All I understand is you're going away, and I think it fully stinks. I know you do. So do I. But I don't make the rules. I gotta go now. Winnie, please! Can't you just make some more magic and stay? Oh, honey. If I could make some real magic, I'd make another you and take you with me. Winnie. Oh, don't worry. I was just leaving. Yeah, I know. Look, uh, I just wanted to say that, that a lot of what you said was right, you know, about the kids and even, you know, in a way, about me. Well, don't start eating fiber or anything just because of what I said. No, 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 you were right. I, I, I'm paying more attention to this life I'm trying to put together than the people in it. You know, you run nylons or greyhounds, not families. Wow, that was a... Uh... Farewell, put. Thank you. Great. Look, Winnie, I'd, I'd, I'd like to unfire you if I could. I really gotta go, TJ. Oh, sorry, Thomas. Uh, TJ is good. Really? Yes. 
In fact, you know, if, if it's the schedule that's bothering you, I can be flexible. In fact, I'll put that on tomorrow's schedule. Be flexible. Well, oh, come on. Rob thinks you're great. Jesse idolizes you. Gene is crazy about you, and I... Well, I want to make them happy. I feel the same way. About them, I mean. But if you gotta go, you gotta go. Looks like we're in for some bad weather. Not necessarily. is as easy as counting to four. Introducing Rave Professional Hair Care. Four new Rave shampoos, four new Rave conditioners with a four-point system that goes from light to deep. I use number one shampoo for fine hair with number two conditioner for body. You're sure to find the Rave combination that's just right for you. For the first time ever, beautiful hair is as easy as counting on Rave. What do you like on a Ritz cracker? Everything but sour pickles, Brussels sprouts, and uh, spinach. But everything else is pretty good, right? And onion, I don't like either. But what do you like? I hate onions because they make me cry. Okay, forget the onion. What do you like on a Ritz? Peanut butter and jelly. I thought so. Ritz, the perfect cracker with just about anything. Next, the Rolling Stones. The bad boys of rock and roll. The rock event of the year. A behind-the-scenes exclusive on 2020. Next. You're in my seat. Winnie, you're back. All right. She's here. <laughs> Does this mean you're staying? Breakfast. I'll take some eggs. Uh, hold the feathers. <laughs> you bet. Winnie, are you gonna no, do No, your... no, no, no way, no how. If this thing has any shot of working, I gotta forget the shortcuts. Winnie's right, you guys. She could use her magic to let's say do those scuzzy dishes. <laughs> but that would be cheating, and she'd only be cheating herself. Right, Winnie? Not necessarily. <laughs> I won't tell if you won't tell. <laughs> oh, you guys think you look so hot in the morning? When I was sent here, it was on a temporary basis. You mean you're a Kelly witch? Sunday, free spirit moves to its regular day and time. She's like a kid and a grown-up at the same time. <laughs> like Pee Wee Herman. Let the spirit move you. Free spirit premieres Sunday. Have mercy. I think that witch on free spirit put a spell on me. <laughs> well, the good news is that we can watch her again this Sunday on the season premiere of free spirit. I'll be there. How about you, Michelle? You got it, dude. <laughs> And we'll all be right here next Friday for another night of new comedy, including the premiere of Just the Ten of Us. It's this many. <laughs> I'm Ted Koppel. Later on Nightline, Hurricane Hugo is dead as a storm, but it's hitting insurance companies hard now. Also, we'll have an update on the bizarre story of U.S. Air Flight 5050. Tuesday, following Who's the Boss, there's supermodels on their way to superstardom. Don't miss a special preview of Living Dolls. An ABC News break. Now from Washington, Ted Koppel. Good evening. Famed American composer Irving Berlin died today at the age of 101. At least 10 people are confirmed dead in Hurricane Hugo's assault on South Carolina. And the FAA today lifted the licenses of the pilots of that U.S. air flight that crashed Wednesday in New York. We'll have more on all three of those stories later on Nightline. Next on 2020, survivors of an air tragedy last February relived the trauma. Thousands fled their homes as Hurricane Hugo blasted the Atlantic coast. While other local TV newscasts shut down for the night, 
Channel 2 News continued to report live from the heart of the hurricane. Only Glenn Burns stayed with the story through the night with continual weather and relief updates. There's only one local station that held on, with crews up and down the Atlantic coast filing live reports all night long. It's coverage you expect from the news leader, Monica Kaufman, Don Farmer, and the Action News Team. There's only one, too.